Aloha and good morning. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the Modix Big 60 printer after 500 hours of making parts for me. Uh, it's not a, a review of the printer, but rather it is just a, a segment of my ongoing documentation uh, with the machine. Uh, lots of interesting stuff here. I'm sure you're going to love it. So let's just cut to the chase and take a look. So the Modix Big 60 came to me uh, via DHL shipping. Uh, it was pretty quick shipping, about a week. Uh, eight large packages, and then it was uh, time to dive in and put it together. Now, I probably would have had a lot more trouble and, may, and maybe even have not been able to accomplish the assembly at all without a lot of help from the support team. So a big shout out to, uh, to the Modic support team. They are good. Uh, they're prompt, professional, and pretty sharp. So the Modix is a dual head printer and uh, you have the option of printing in two colors or using dissolvable support materials, which is a, a really handy feature. Uh, right now I have mine set up to uh, just use the one head and I've disabled the fan and the uh, tool uh, number two. Now the Modix machines come standard with the uh, E3D Volcano extruder setup. Uh, that's okay, but I decided to order the optional uh, regular E3D setup because, uh, you know, detail is important to me no matter what the size of the print is and uh, other factors like uh, the ability to create really good overhangs uh, depend on um, a smaller nozzle. So what I'm doing is printing everything uh, so far with a, a 0.6 nozzle and a 0.35 layer resolution. I've decided to adopt that as a pretty much standard approach to the things that I'm making now. That'll probably change in the future, but I still have to teach myself how to use uh, the dual head capability, how to use the, the second tool for uh, creating another color or uh, a dissolvable support structure. It will be happening. I just haven't had the time to do it yet. The Big 60 Duet Control Board is housed in an enclosure with its own dedicated cooling fan at the rear of the machine. Uh, the unit is very quiet. The Big 60 print area is a little bit shy of 24 inches square. Uh, as you can see, the, the actual bed is a little bit bigger than that, uh, and there is a little bit of a margin all the way around. Modic ships their printers with a PEI uh, printing surface that the user must apply to the bed during the construction phase. It didn't work well for me. Uh, I wound up with a lot of bubbles and wrinkles and it was very unsatisfactory. So I removed it, uh, which is a whole other story. And I went down and got a piece of float glass, a four millimeter float glass. and had them cut the corners with little notches to clear the fasteners, put it uh, with uh, a couple of little clips and it works very well. It's about 5,000% better than the PEI covering that comes with the machine. And uh, I just like printing on glass. I always have, always get good results. The Big 60 frame height is about f a little bit more than uh, 43 and 5 eighths inches high. Uh, and interestingly, the width of the machine has a very cleverly, I think, been designed to ensure that it can go through uh, a standard 36 inch doorway. Now the Modix approach to bed heating is to have a separate user controllable unit uh, on the machine. Uh, they don't provide a, a link for this machine to the user interface. So uh, rather than rely on slicer settings for bed heating, you do it on a print per print basis uh, manually with that heater. Uh, the heater core, the, the element is attached to the bottom of the plate with uh, uh, 3M adhesive that comes uh, already applied to the element. The Duet controller system is a real interesting design feature of this machine. It enables the user to control the machine and many different aspects of its operation, uh, either from the interface which is mounted to the front of the machine, which is a nice big screen by the way, or uh, the browser interface. Uh, the machine uses a Wi-Fi connection to 
uh, connect with your local Wi-Fi network and present the uh, the machine control page uh, in your computer's browser. Modix printers use active bed level compensation. Uh, this is accomplished through uh, bed probing with a, a BL touch and their proprietary uh, software. And that creates a height map for the machine to reference uh, for the compensation. And here we see the bed compensation subroutine uh, starting. Uh, this is uh, a time consuming procedure, but it's for well worth the wait. The resulting height map is saved to the uh, machine's board and uh, it can be viewed in the interface as a, a three-dimensional height map with a false color, kind of an exaggerated false color uh, overlay so that you can see uh, where corrections need to be done. And so after, uh, in this particular instance, three runs with the bed leveling and then a little, a little tweaking and adjusting of the bed, and I've got it to the point where it's pretty flat. And this is the very first print that I made with my Modix Big 60. It's a little escape gear. And this is the first very large print that I did with the Modix Big 60. It's a rim for the motorcycle model. Unfortunately, I decided that I didn't really care for the design, so I made another one. And this is one of the motorcycle tires in progress. Uh, I wanted to do it out of TPU, but that didn't work out, uh, so I did it out of PLA. Uh, following that, we have a, a clip of the drive belt being printed. Uh, that was done in TPU, and it was a complete success. Uh, I'm, st I'm still learning how to massage the settings on this machine. This is the motorcycle tank being printed. Interestingly, this particular part was the most materials and time intensive uh, section of the entire model. It took a little over two days to print this, but it turned out very nicely. And here we have the results of the uh, 500 plus hours uh, that I've been slaving away with the Modix. Uh, this is the only thing that I've been working on, and this is the only thing that I've been printing with the Modix. And I think that I have almost got a handle on how this machine works well enough uh, to go on and do some really interesting things. Although there were some preliminary teething issues, uh, as soon as I got up on top of the learning curve, I pretty much ceased to have any problems with the machine. And I got to say, it's a, it's a wonderful piece of engineering and a really good product. And I'm very happy to have it. And so that's uh, where we're at with the Modix after 500 hours. Actually, it's more like 600 hours uh, since they started the video and got the motorcycle finished. And I plan on posting uh, a clip soon on the making of the motorcycle and all the detailed stuff involved with that uh, as the feature of the video. So thanks for watching. Uh, I hope it was helpful. And uh, you're certainly welcome to comment. I like comments. So we'll see you next time on the Frank's 3D Printing Lab.